This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 3144, One Sentence That Will Change Your Life, by Dr. Kelly Flanagan of drkellyflanagan.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your very own personal narrator. I read to you every single day of the year so that you don't have to go find blogs and articles yourself, all in an effort to make your and my days just a little bit better. So with that, let's get right to it and continue optimizing your life. One Sentence That Will Change Your Life Forever by Dr. Kelly Flanagan of drkellyflanagan.com. I want you to memorize a single sentence because learning to live it will change your life. I'm gonna tell you what it is, why it is the key to living fully and freely, and how your life will explode with beauty when your heart begins to beat to the rhythm of it. The people who sit on a therapist's couch are abnormal, right? They've made bad choices and lived incorrectly and are broken in some strange way, right? Wrong. In my clinical practice, I've discovered two things. First, my therapy clients are ordinary people who have the extraordinary courage to admit life is messy and the determination to redeem it. And second, The majority were not the bad kids on the playground. They were honor roll students and the quiet kids who got things done and the glue in their splintered families and the caretakers and the sacrificers and the forgivers and the obedient ones. And they're simply confused about how doing all the right things can land them in the middle of so much suffering and confusion. They need one sentence that will change their lives. And this is it. I'm not going to worry very much about offending people anymore, which means I need you to tell me when I do so I can think about it and decide if I need to apologize. It's the key to living freely and loving well. We need to soak it in and learn to live it fully. But we can only do so if we understand the radical, transformational love at its core. I'm not going to worry very much about offending people anymore. I'm sick of living in fear of what others will think of me. If I make a mistake or say a wrong word or accidentally make them feel uncomfortable or don't respond to them in the way they wish, it has drained me and I can't recall who I truly am. So I'm done with feeling responsible for everyone else's feelings. Except I'm not, not completely because I'm human and all healing takes time and there will be moments when I'm ambushed by my old shameful worry and I'll wonder if what I did and said is good enough for anyone. And I do love people and care about them. There'll be many moments when it's perfectly appropriate for me to be concerned about their feelings and I don't want to lose that part of me. So I probably will continue to worry a little which means I need you to tell me when I do. Because my terror of error is diminished, I will, ironically, make even more mistakes than before. I'm not perfect, and I will mess up. I don't wanna hurt you, but realistically, it is probably going to happen. So when I have hurt you, I will need your authentic, vulnerable, and kind feedback. And because I'm not confusing my mistakes and indiscretions for who I am, my identity will not be at stake and I will be able to receive that feedback without defensiveness. And because I know my value and worth, even in my fallibility, I will not do violence to myself with your feedback either. So I can think about it. I will no longer respond compulsively. I'll no longer feel responsible for taking away all of your hurt and discomfort. So I may take my time to respond to you. I promise you, I'm not brushing it under the rug. I simply want my response to be guided by wisdom rather than fear of rejection or abandonment or condemnation. And I know wisdom takes time and discernment, maybe even space for mindfulness and prayer and meditation and consultation with a trusted confidant, and decide if I need to apologize. I know I'm broken and make mistakes, 
but I also know now we're all broken, which means your hurt may not be my fault. And you may need to face it rather than be rescued from it by my apology. And I'm beginning to believe that I get to decide when I need to apologize. My fears and your demands will no longer dictate apologies and compensation. But know that I value you, whether you're a friend or family member or a pedestrian on the street or a customer service representative. You matter to me and I'll take you and your hurt seriously. Even when I don't bear the burden of responsibility, I'll feel the weight of compassion. And because all of this is true, when I do apologize, you'll be able to trust the depth and sincerity of my remorse. That's it. One sentence to freedom. One sentence to radical self-acceptance. One sentence to authentic vulnerability and connection and community. One sentence to messy, beautiful living. For those of us accustomed to getting it all right, those of us who mistake our indiscretions for who we are, we must make this sentence the meditation of our days. A sentence to hold gently at the front of our minds until it sinks into the depths of our hearts, shining light into the darkness and dispelling the ghosts of unworthiness that lurk in the cellars of our souls. A sentence that will redefine how we experience life, what we choose to do with our time, and who we choose to spend that time with. Because we'll want to surround ourselves with people whose hearts are also beating to the rhythm of that sentence. People who can give us grace in our errors and compassion in our brokenness. And people who are vulnerable enough to sincerely confess their own mistakes and receive the grace we offer. When our hearts are populated by this sentence, and when our lives become populated by people who are also living it, we will finally be living fully and freely. You just listened to the post titled, One Sentence That Will Change Your Life by Dr. Kelly Flanagan of drkellyflanagan.com, and I'll be right back with my commentary. Okay, sponsor time. And instead of reading a script about Gusto's benefits, let's hear from small business owners, the people who use Gusto every day like me. Here's one. With Gusto, I think of payroll as a 30-second job. The website is so friendly and a joy to use. Friendly payroll? You don't hear that every day. Amy from Utah says, I love Gusto so much. They do our medical, dental, vision, and life insurance. It's so painless. It's like going to the spa. And we have great options and rates even though we're a super small team. Health insurance like going to the spa? Wow. And here's what Mneet says about Gusto's support team. Whenever something comes up, I reach out and literally 24 hours later, they tell us what to do or assure us that they've already handled it for us. Smart technology and friendly humans? That's cool. Honestly, the list goes on. And right now our listeners get three months free when they go to gusto.com slash old. Yep, three months of payroll, benefits, admin, and more, totally free. Again, that's gusto.com slash OLD. Thank you to Dr. Kelly. I'll give you that sentence again if you'd like to ponder it this weekend. I'm not going to worry very much about offending people anymore, which means I need you to tell me when I do so I can think about it and decide if I need to apologize. It's definitely a unique take. When I first saw the title of this post, well, I don't know exactly what I was expecting, but definitely not this. And I really do think it's a good one to consider. It's easy to tiptoe around, filtering maybe a bit too much. I'm probably guilty of this. Although it's not something to feel bad about, but maybe something to recognize and see where it could be holding us back. That's what the article did for me, at least. I can be so afraid of offending that I hold back a lot, but that could be just my protection or staying in my comfort zone, which if you've been listening to this show for a while, you know that that's not the best place to be because that's where stagnation occurs. We can't grow without discomfort. So this definitely isn't easy, but it could have some big benefits if we really consider it. So do consider it today, wishing you a great weekend. Thank you for being here and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.